Scott Naismith, I'm a landscape painter. I've got a demonstration today uh, to show you of the painting behind me and I thought I could do a little video blog today just to talk about the concepts and ideas behind it. Anyone who follows my work just now will know that my work's gone through a little bit of a change uh, more towards the abstract from the more traditional depictions of the, of the landscapes uh, that I've had up to now. A lot of that change is due to a, a change in use of medium and technique and I thought I'd just mention what's going on with that today. This painting that you're about to see a demonstration of is actually a bit of a mix of both so it represents the change in my work. It's called Sk Sana Sky. It's um, a beach in Arden working that you can see the Isle of Rum from. A lot of the concept to what I'm doing at the moment is thick paint and glazed over the top of but what's happening at the moment is I'm being a lot more free with the use of that thick paint and our application of it is a little bit more vigorous, a little bit more energetic and also it's being applied with very viscous paint to create contrast and texture between smoother glazed areas and textural thicker paint and uh, it's also quite a matte finish and uh, this little painting just represents a painting that I did uh, to step away from landscape painting again because I'm trying something new and not to be too led by what I normally do with landscapes and tackle what was uh, a still life subject in a much more abstract fashion. And it's about the contrast between the greys and greyed out colour and, and the, the saturated colour. Saturated colour versus unsaturated saturated colour. And a little bit more about my colour use can be apparent from my videos on colour, hue and saturation and the truth about the colour view. Another two paintings that show this painting process of mine changing uh, could be described in these two Glen Gary pieces. Um, this being my initial style, my, my usual work. Progressing on to, progressing on to a much more abstract uh, look at the same scene. And you can see from any close up of this abstract piece um, that it's very much looking at the It's very much looking at the qualities, uh, the qualities of the paint surface and the 3D aspects of that. Um, now the mediums, uh, what's new with this style mediums wise is the addition of a wax medium um, using some resin oil wax medium. This is more liquid uh, and it would be for matte glazes. Uh, I've also got beeswax paste which is from Michael Harding, if I can get the thing open. And the beeswax paste is a very thick, pasty beeswax medium to add to the paint to give it a matte finish. You can add a little bit of this to your mediums as well to give you any other medium a little bit more of a matte feel. But this is really to give body to the paint, uh, but also a, a, a slight a, a, a slight viscous content. So enjoy watching this thing being painted. I'm going to do it in a few parts to try and uh, slow down the speed of it so that you can appreciate just some of the techniques that are involved. Okay. 